All right, mate, so why do most people come to Cairns? Is it to get eaten by crocs? Maybe. Did you get stung by jellies? Well, of course, that's always a fun day. But now there's one attraction that Cairns has that brings out the crowds more than anything else, and that's the GBR, the Great Barrier Reef. Okay, so now we're doing it today. We're getting the GBR done. The, uh, the main event for here. I got my stinger suit on. Oh, look at that, nice. Of course, I got a shirt on too, because I'm not going to be a bloody Italian strutting around with a wiener hanging out in public. Only the eye ties can pull that off, mate. Now I'm going to put on a shirt over the stinger until you get in the water. All right, let's go to the pier, mates. All right, mates, we're at the reef. We're not at the reef. We're at the harbour. we we'll pick up the boat to the reef. Because for all the people who don't know, the GBR is about two hours, it's about two hours uh, from the coastline. So the GBR is way out there. The Great Barrier Reef. And I'm trying to carry 10 things here. Gonna leave the hotel key right in the car. Okay, GBR is about two hours off the reef. So the tours all end up being like a couple hours. Uh, no, all day, all day really. A couple hours to get out there. And you gotta pay for bloody parking down here, so I can look at that. See that ticket? Wanna blow a ticket booth? Come on, Cairns, you can give us a little free parking, can't you? Bloody bastards. What's that? Really? It's cool. uh what the hell are those called again? I think they might be banyan trees. Yeah, they're banyan trees, that's it, that's the name. You know the biggest tree in the world is a banyan tree, and it's an Indian. Alright. They haven't chopped it down yet? No. Now, if you're wondering what the harbour at Cairns looks like at 8 in the morning, well, this is it. It's actually a bit of a hustle of activity here. Let me have a look. These are all the reefers. The reefer madness. It's reefer madness down here. Look at this, they've got so many reef tours here. In, uh, reef tours here in Cairns. It's like an airport. <laughs> bloody airport terminal in here. Finding the crew. The I've never seen anything like this. this is big. A lot of different windows, like what car are you renting? What's going on? Don't know, mate. Oh my god, this, this marina is so busy. There's no doubt about it. No doubt about what tours pay the bread and butter here. It's like 5,000 people out here at 8 in the morning on the marina. Crikey. We've got to go down Finger A, which is where we are now. It's busier than a cruise terminal down here. All for the bloody reef tours. Crikey. And I think we got the only sailing boat on this entire, this entire dock. Passions of Paradise. Some silly name like that. There it is. The Passions 2. The Passions 3. It's a fine vessel. I believe this is shot the puke boat. Although no. <laughs> There's a lot of land landlubbers. There's a lot of landlubbers that call these things. Puke all over the place. I've never been on a boat before. It's so stinking hot already. Should have wet my stinger seat down. Ah, oh, so yeah, the purpose of the stinger seat, it's not a wet suit. Stinger suit just stops the deadly jellies from killing you in your spot when you're trying to enjoy the reef. As it is Australia after all, everything kills you down here. But all right, on to the passion. On to the puke express. Here we go, mates. <laughs> Good morning, how are we? Morning. Yeah, you got the tickets there? Hang on. There. Yep, that's you guys. All right. Perfect. Not the Passions 1, not the Passions 2. This is Passion 3. Is it the best fashion? No, that's the best shirt. I love it. Oh, mate. you like yeah. this shirt? Nice, nice. I bought this at a store like uh, 15 years ago. They don't sell them anymore. Mate, that is awesome. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how are we all feeling this morning? Woo! 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 Woo!
Let's try and keep that rolling show today, eh? snorkeling on the Great Barrier Reef. I actually expect it to be a little more colourful to be honest with you mate. So what can you do with the weather and all that? The corals everywhere seem to be dying. But there is a lot of reef out here. This one's called, uh, <laughs> what do they call it? Point Break. So this uh, this reef spot is called, oh you got lens and water on the lens? This reef spot's called Point Break. I'm expecting to see Keanu out here, but I haven't found him yet. Just a bunch of bloody fish there. No Keanu at point right. And then running into people like crazy too. When you do these big group snorkels, you kind of got to get out of the way of everyone else. Get out of the group. Otherwise, nothing but flippers in your face, mate. Hello, Mum. What's your opinion of the roof? On the Great Barrier Reef, so I am very excited. Um, it's not as colorful as I expected, but I mean, I think reefs all over the world are, are uh, you know, have been damaged. Um, there's quite a bit of fish, though. I see schools of fish, all different kinds of fish, big fish. I try to take some pictures, and not a photographer, so I don't know how that'll turn out, but we'll try. But um, everyone's going to lunch now, so we're going to get more. We're going to do actually more snorkeling. So we'll wait till everyone grabs the food and then we'll come in and we can have some peace and quiet. But I love it. I love it. We're here. The water is calm. Um, it, the tide is out, so it's shallow. And the water's about a perfect temperature, I'd say. Oh, yeah. I only saw one stinger so far. Only one stinger out here. I haven't 
seen any at all. A little, a little white one about that big. I don't know if it's one of the ones that'll kill you dead in your, in your tracks. So I didn't get a, I didn't get a photo of it. I just booked it out of there when I saw that jelly. Okay, so now we're at the second stop on the GBR Reef Tour. This place is called East Mees West. The Great Barrier Reef is actually like a thousand miles long, 2,000 kilometers, something crazy. This is the second stop on a, on a snorkel dive today. So let's see if it's a little better. Let's get in, mate. meets west. Uh, Reef, this one's pretty cool actually. It's uh, a lot shallower than the other one. And a lot of the, the uh, a lot of the coral is like right at the same level. So you can like float right over it. This one's pretty good actually. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. That's the GBR. The bloody Great Barrier Reef. Australia's gift to swimming community. <laughs> <laughs> it is very nice though. Alright, I don't know what else to say. See all the fish rolling around. It's still not super colourful. Uh, I know I can't remember where it was. I think I was snorkeling in Jamaica once. And uh, that was super colourful snorkeling there. It's a little more, the colour's a little more subtle. It's a more grey uh, than that. Still pretty nice though. Probably one of the best I've done in a while. But uh, and far away from the coastline. Can you see that over there? See the coastline water hey, over there? Yeah. That's Cairns, mate. We're not there anymore. I think it's great. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's really good snorkeling. The temperature, I mean, the diversity of, of uh, just wildlife here. The fish is quite extraordinary. So this is, uh, you come down for Christmas down under, this is what you'll be doing. You won't be shoveling driveways. You'll be snorkeling the GBR. A little better, a little better down under that way. <laughs> Crikey, mate. All right, mate, so snorkeling's done for the day. Headed back to Cairns. I got uh, another two hour journey back to Cairns. But it's funny, like the second, the second the stings, the stinger seats come off, the sun worship has come out and everyone's right out on deck. It's the crazy, people really love the sun. I don't know how they do it. I've been in like five minutes, mate, but check this out. The sun worshippers are out in force.
<laughs> Crikey! <laughs> and there's more sun worshippers on the bank. They're all over the ship now. Sun worshippers all over the back deck. The Aussie flag flowing gracefully. That one's red. Very unusual. Oh, there you go. There's probably more sun worshippers down here. Let's take a look. This is the engine room, more or less. All the tanks and stuff. People get done. Oh, wow. All right, let's look up front. And this cat's kind of cool. You can stand out on the bow and do your Leo thing. You know, everyone's got to do the Leo thing every once in a while. On the big ships, you can't go up front anymore. It's kind of a disappointment. But on this one, you can. All right, let's do it, mate. There we go, just like Leo. the day trip just to sail on the boat it's it's honestly it's like 50 percent of the entire reef trip it's just enjoying the ship oh, i love it the leo bit look at that water there's some up there i don't know how the catholic can concentrate <laughs> 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 that goes without saying, mate. Quite a sight up there on the bow. I think the captain, captain must have her on autopilot. I should certainly get to keep my eyes straight. <laughs> Later, mate. Now look out back the way. Yeah. <laughs> 